Yo, what's up, crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Jess Mike, and we're back in here on Madden 16. We got new NFL movers today, and this is one of them. Zane Beetle, he's a 90 overall. He has 90 strength, 96 awareness, great awareness on this guy. He has 65 speed, 60 agility, 78 acceleration, 87 run block, 91 pass block, and 88 impact block. Now, I don't know... You know, if this guy is meant for our squad, but he would probably be great for people who are just trying to build a squad. I mean, he has excellent awareness, pretty good pass blocking. And I think that if you can pick this guy up at about 10 to 15 K, definitely worth a guy getting on your team. If you're trying to slowly build your team to be a little bit better. Now, moving on from him, we actually have, oh, we have Cedric Thornton, man. Uh, this guy is going from the Eagles to the Cowboys. I don't know how you do that. I never understood while how DeMarco Murray went from the Cowboys to the Eagles and vice versa. How can you go to your rival team? It's just like you just don't do it. You know what I mean? But Cedric Thornton will be a Cowboy, and he has pretty decent stats, man. He has 95 tackling, 96 big block share with 96 strength, 83 power move, 79 finesse move, and a play rec of 95. Definitely a great guy. I would love to pick this dude up, honestly. But, you know, coming in at 50K, kind of a little bit too steep right now. I'm pretty sure his price is definitely, definitely going to drop. But I would, wouldn't mind picking him up once he gets to around the 32, 37,000 muck coin range. Definitely going to be on my squad. Now, moving right along, we have... Uh, I think a new cornerback too, uh, Casey Hayward. All right, I think Casey Hayward's going to the to the Bolts, and uh, this guy's got some decent stats, man. I mean, listen, he has three hundred twenty-five k. It's a little bit. I mean, they're jumping the gun on this, right? But he does have great stats. I, I definitely believe he's worth more than a ninety-three overall. He has ninety-four speed, right? Ninety-three acceleration, ninety-two agility, ninety-four man coverage, ninety-eight zone. With a press of 88, but a good play rec of 92, and a catch rating of 86. That's one thing I've been trying to do with all my defensive players, is I want to have defensive players with a lot of high play rec. You know, being very smart and playing on the ball really quickly. And this guy has a great uh, play rec of 92 plus 86 catching. You know what I mean? Not to mention 94 man coverage. Like right now, I'm all about the man coverage. I really don't even like playing zone anymore. I want my my defenders to stick to the offensive guys like glue. You know what I mean? And this guy has a great uh, man coverage. Now, his press is a little bit low, but he is a great defender. And I would love to add this guy to my lineup as like my fifth official corner. You know what I mean? Would love to add this guy to the lineup. We definitely need him. But uh, not for this price. All right. Now, maybe when he drops to about, I don't know, like 60K, maybe 68. Definitely will pick this guy up. But now moving right along, I think we have a uh, quarterback Brock Osweiler, and uh, I don't know if he's on the market yet. I didn't see him, but let's go ahead and check to see what we can see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I think he's uh, what is he? A 94 overall? Yeah, okay, he's on the market. 78k, not bad, not bad. Uh, his Super Bowl card actually played really well. I mean, this guy is 6'8", dude. He has 82 speed, 99 throwing power, right? 95 short ball, a mid ball of 93, 92 deep ball, and a throw on the run of 86. Now, I don't know how good he compares to Russell, I mean, Jameis Winston, but, I mean, he's pretty solid. I mean, definitely I could see me adding this guy to the set. You know what I mean? He kind of blanks out Tyrod. But, I mean, I, I use Tyrod every now and again. He has that 93 speed. It's kind of glitchy. Colt McCoy is actually a really decent um, passer. And he has a great short game. I love uh, Colt McCoy's short ball. Pause of that. And his medium ball. Like, he actually is a really good player. I would love to add this Brock Osweiler to my, my lineup, though. I mean, he could definitely take Romo's spot. I mean, it's time. Romo, I've been having Romo for so long, that dude, Kim Romo. It's definitely time to uh, get a new number three. This guy definitely may be it. Now, let's move into the last guy. Um, 
Russell Okung, all right? And Russell Okung, he's definitely a very top-of-the-line offensive lineman. And I would love to have this guy on my team. Uh, let's see if we can check this guy out and see what his stats look like, though. And I believe he's a left tackle. So let's go to the LTs. I think he's like a higher rated, too. Okay. 99. Let's see. Okay, we got one. We got one up. He's going for like one mil. And he's a, he's a good addition to the Broncos. They actually did something smart. Definitely strengthening up that line. And this guy has 97 run block with 94 pass block, 95 impact block, and 95 awareness with 94 strength, 65 speed, 73 agility, and 79 acceleration. Yeah, I would love to get this guy on my team, but I'm pretty sure that uh, that price is going to dip, but not by much. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that this guy's going to probably be a Around about 200k, maybe 300k at the most, or at the lowest. But uh, this would definitely be a great addition to the team. And seeing right now, I mean, he's been out for a while, and it's only one person who's basically put him up for auction. I think a lot of people get that card. They're definitely going to keep it. But that's it for the NFL movers. We did pick up two NFL movers today. Um, but this is the older and well, they're not too old, but. We got two kind of recent NFL movers from last week, I believe. Uh, we got um, Malik Jackson, 97 overall. Had to do that. Definitely had to bring this guy in. I want to test him out. And also, we got Shane McClellan. Now, I wanted to get this guy because of his play wreck, you know, and his pursuit. He has such great play wreck, pursuit, and tackle that I want to see if I can use this guy you know, a middle linebacker, maybe right outside linebacker. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of Sean Lee and actually bringing this guy in to see if I can use her with him. You know what I mean? He has a he has a decent amount of speed that I can probably use her with this guy and be effective. So I want to see what he does once we plug him into the offensive lineup. And we also need a new running back. Uh... I recently put the Devontae Freeman up on the block, man. So looking for somebody new. Um, thinking about getting that LaMike James or even uh, yielding back. But right now we're going to plug in our go-to guy. We're going to plug Miller back in to the, to the lineup. And let's add one more guy. Let's see here. Maybe Sims. Sims has always been good for me. So we're going to plug this guy back in. And then we're going to plug in these guys in on offense i mean on defense so we're gonna plug in our newest and we're gonna plug in mcclellan and see what he does over here he's actually a 91 <laughs> at left outside linebacker i mean right outside linebacker and then we're gonna plug in malik jackson and we're gonna plug this guy in and let's see what these guys do. Kind of curious to see what's going to happen. But that's the lineup. Those are the pickups for today. I want to know what you guys got. So make sure you guys hit me down in the comment box. Make sure to share this story across your social networks. And subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. But that's it for this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. And I am out. Peace.